Before working on any high voltage or associated components of any hybrid or electric vehicle, the de-energization procedure must be carried out for your own safety. In this video, we show examples of the following popular models. Toyota Aris, Toyota Prius Plus, and the Lexus CT200H. The high voltage circuit of any hybrid engine can contain voltage well in excess of 200 volts. Blueprint recommends you only work on the high voltage system if you have been trained and are confident to do so and always ensure you are wearing the correct protective gear. Before carrying out any tests on the high voltage system, ensure you are not wearing or carrying any metallic objects such as metal pens or screwdrivers, as they could fall onto the high voltage components and create a short circuit. The high voltage components consist of the high voltage battery and its relays, traction motor, inverter, air conditioning pump and any associated cables and connectors that are coloured orange. Before carrying out any work, place a high voltage warning sign on the vehicle to warn anybody else in the workshop you are working on the high voltage system. Turn off the ignition. Remove the ignition key and store it away from the car, especially if the vehicle is fitted with keyless entry. Disconnect the 12 volt battery negative terminal. Carefully check the condition of your insulated gloves for any damage. The gloves must be minimum of class zero, rated to 1000 volts. Ensure there are no holes and that they are not wet before use. Do not blow into the gloves. The service plug is a device that, when removed, disables the high voltage battery. The individual modules are connected in series by copper connectors, except one which has a pair of cables that run to the service plug. Removing the service plug disconnects these cables, splitting the battery in two. Locate the service plug and then, wearing your insulated gloves, remove the service plug and place it in a safe place or where it can be seen by other people. Note the action of the interlocking device when removing the plug. Wait at least 10 minutes to ensure the high voltage capacitors in the inverter are fully discharged. Ensuring the inverter cover is clean, remove it, making sure to place the cover and loose bolts away from exposed inverter terminals. With your voltmeter set to DC and in the correct range, check it against a known reading to ensure accuracy. Make sure you are using a voltmeter and leads that are safety rated to CAT3 1000 volts. Ensuring you are wearing your insulated gloves, identify the two DC frame wires coming from the high voltage battery and check the voltage between the terminals inside the inverter. Then switch your meter to AC and check the voltages between the three motor phase cables for both motors. All readings should be zero volts. Provided you have carried out these steps, the high voltage system should now be safe to work on. Once any high voltage work has been completed, you can refit the inverter cover. Wearing your insulated gloves, refit the service plug ensuring you fully locate the interlocking device. Reconnect the 12 volt battery. Using a suitable diagnostic tool such as the G-Scan 2, check for any stored fault codes and arrays as necessary. Take the car for a test drive to ensure correct operation of the vehicle.